I'm Richard Carlton and in this video I want to talk briefly about FM starting point and customizing the terminology and the modules for best fit with your business or organization. After you've downloaded FM starting point you're going to notice that it has a number of modules within the product. There's accounts, contacts, calendars, estimates, all sorts of modules within the product. Most businesses won't use all these modules. Additionally, most businesses might have different names for these types of things. So you're going to want to spend a little bit of time up front customizing FM starting point to fit your business needs. So the two things you're going to want to do is go into FM starting point and remove the buttons for the modules you don't need so your employees or staff don't click into areas that are not in use. So for example, if you have a contact section here where you keep track of all the people that you interact with, but you don't really have an account section which are generally organizations, so your business is not organized around the idea of having accounts, then the idea is to go into layout mode in FileMaker and to remove the accounts button so the users can't press this button and go into an area that's not in use. So the idea would be to remove the accounts button here and also go to the home screen here and remove the accounts button here as well. That's fairly easy to do. All you have to do is click on the mode selection right here where it says browse, switch to layout mode, then you can click on the button that you would like to remove, click the delete key on your keyboard. Also, feel free to click and remove the graphic. Now I'm going to go ahead and press Command Z twice to bring these items back on the screen. The other thing you can do is click on the miscellaneous module section here on the right side, click on your accounts button here, and drag that unneeded module over here to miscellaneous modules. That way, in case in the future you want to go ahead and use this button, you'll still have access to it over here but it'll be kind of hidden out of the way and not really visible to your users where they might click on it and accidentally navigate to this area. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to browse mode by clicking here and selecting browse. I'm going to go ahead and go into the contact section and while I'm at it I'm going to go back into the layout mode one more time and then I'm going to go and click on the accounts button right here and press the delete key. Now of course I can realign the buttons here so they're all nestled together but you get the idea of removing the modules that you don't really need. Now the other important idea to keep in mind is that most businesses are going to have different terminology for their operations. So whereas we have a contacts module in FM starting point, some businesses will absolutely insist that this is a customer module instead. So you're going to want to go into this label right here and change this to customers instead. Go ahead and customize FM starting point to meet your terminology. This will help your staff or employees feel comfortable with FM starting point and if they're comfortable with it they'll want to use it and if they use the database together as a collaborative team that will make your team much more effective and efficient. And that's the whole point of using FileMaker in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to Browse, select Layout. I'm going to select the text tool right here. I'm going to click on the word Contacts. I'm going to actually double click and I'm going to type Customers. I'm going to select Browse Mode one more time down here. So now we have a customers button here, calendar, estimates, invoices, and projects. Now projects is another term that businesses will sometimes use or they'll call it something else like jobs. I see that frequently with customers. They'll have customers, they'll have estimates, invoices, or quotes. Maybe instead of estimates they'll be quotes, but instead of projects they'll be called jobs. So I click into projects, and of course we can rename this jobs here and in the upper left hand corner of the screen 
The same way I rename it here with the text button, I can rename the title of the screen right here as well. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of customizing the buttons that you're going to want to access with FM Starting Point to limit your staff's access to the areas that you want them to navigate to and to customize the terminology to make them feel comfortable using this new database.